Everyone who was at Woodstock, it was one of the defining moments. The same as you get married, you have a child being at Woodstock. My name is Elliot Landy and I was one of the two official photographers at Woodstock. So you're asking me if I had a sense of what was going to happen. Nobody had a sense of what was going to happen. The producers of the festival were so late in getting permission to use the space that they weren't ready to start the festival when the festival was supposed to start. And people came early and, and the fences were like half up and half down and so on. And through the grace of wisdom, the producers said, we're not going to fight with them. This is a free festival. And that was, was a brilliant thing to do, to be kind to people. I think it's what it's about. And I find that in life, the more you're kind to people, the better life works out. I was the only photographer who had full stage access at all times. That was a blessing and, and it was also a limitation. Because I was allowed to be on the stage, I didn't wander out into the field so much and take as many pictures as I probably would do today um, of the people that were there. And um, I was on the stage a lot. I would have loved to have had more photographs. However, I only brought 80 rolls of film and I used that up. So I don't really know if I could have taken too many more photographs even if I had wanted to. Richie Havens, who was the first one to play. And uh, I always, I had known Richie since I was in college. I always loved his music and he was just incredible. As he's coming off stage after singing Freedom. I didn't know what to do. So I just looked out at the audience and I, I looked, I just saw freedom. And all these people were just free. They were doing what they wanted to do, how they wanted to do it, when they wanted to do it. So that's Janis Joplin on stage at Woodstock. And one of my favorite photographs of her. I photographed her a lot. And that's exuberance. Joe Cocker. So this I was behind and he was facing the audience most of the time. But here he turned around and was facing me for a moment and just got that. Just incredible when he sings with a little help from my friends. It was such a beautiful moment. And another spiritual moment, Swami Satchidananda. And he wasn't scheduled to be on stage from what I know, but they needed somebody to take up some time because the acts had trouble appearing. So he went out on stage and it's very appropriate of what Woodstock was about, that it began with a blessing and began with a, a conscious man who's trying to teach people to be calm, to be good, to live life spiritually. So this picture is uh, of people on the sound towers, the towers that held the loudspeakers. And they were put up very hurriedly and they were not anchored super well. And there was a great fear on the part of the people that ran the festival that the, they were gonna collapse because they weren't made to have all these people on them and so on. Plus, when lightning started coming, it was a lightning rod. But luckily, when the people were warned, hey, it's, there's lightning coming, get off, they all got down. So nobody stayed up there and said, oh, you're not going to get me, you know. Here is when it was about to rain. I was on stage, and I don't know if uh, John Morris, the, the stage announcer, said anything or not, but everyone saw the clouds coming. They just rolled right in. And so here was this picture of it, you can see on the side them coming in. I was under the stage and by accident, I had this wide lux camera. By accident, I, like, and I, I hit the shutter. And so you see the, the rain outside. This is my favorite photograph of the crowd, in, of the people in Woodstock. This young lady, right, personifies what that generation was about, what people were about. Nobody hassled anybody. Everything was cool and easy going. And, she could be who she was and he could be who he was and, you know, this guy, whatever he's contemplating, you know, he may have solved the mysteries of creation at this moment. <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone had a sense that it would last this, that it would become so culturally meaningful, so spiritually meaningful, so inspirational for people. And that was simply people agreeing to be kind to each other, agreeing to share with each other, agreeing not to be greedy about what was available to them. Very simple. And that's why I see it as an example for humanity, and that's why it lives on.